I always thought the worst thing to call a drink is the same. Like, oh yeah, I'll have the same. And then you get your drink, but it's not what you wanted. You wanted what the last guy ordered. But of course you can't send it back because then you'll look like an idiot. I've been texting my mum more recently, or my mother more recently. Sometimes she'll send me a text which I don't quite understand, but I, I won't mention it. We're talking one day and I was complaining about my boss. And then she said, she sent a two word reply, chin him. Which I know, no, I, I don't know what she meant. Does she mean chin up? Does she want me to get a real job? What are you doing out here with the bins? They're supposed to be on in a minute. Look, I know the last few gigs have been a bit rough. I have been practicing. But what if it's not good enough? What if they laugh at me? <laughs> Is that not the idea? Look, you just need to relax a little bit. My stomach's in knots. I'm really nervous. Oh, look, mate, you'll be fine. Plus, if we cancel now, Andy ain't gonna have us back. But what am I gonna do? None of my stuff works. They hate it. Look, if you try to convince yourself that you're gonna fail, you're only gonna prove yourself right. You've got nothing to lose. Oh God, here comes the Crypt Keeper. Your father was never this late, Frank. Sorry, I was rehearsing. Just get up there. Go on, mate. And remember to try and relax. If he fucks this up again. Uh, hey there, hi everyone. Wow, a lot of people here tonight, that's great. My name's Frank, uh, sorry I'm late. I had a bit of a self-esteem issue, but I think we've got it sorted again. So, I always lose my keys. It doesn't matter where I put them, I'll lose them. Like the other day when I was playing video games, I was thinking, People often hide their keys because they're scared they're going to lose them. Like, Bowser's scared his cleaners go rearrange everything. Ah, where's my Goomba payroll? Ah! You suck. <laughs> hey, can you not, please? I didn't say anything. No, no, sorry, not you. So, uh, anyway, I've been texting my mother a lot recently. I, sh I can't understand what she texts me. I, I don't even ask her about it. We were discussing my boss the other day and she sends me a two-word text. Chin him. I don't understand what she meant. Does that mean I need to keep my chin up? Does that mean I need to assault the guy? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I've been thinking about how far we've come since since caveman times, like we're no longer hitting two rocks together in order to survive. We're now driving around in a really big rock, powered by the remains of the dinosaurs we used to once ride and hunt. <laughs> Humans and dinosaurs existed millions of years apart. <laughs> well, yeah, but... You find that funny? Uh, we obviously have a lot of paleontologists, paleontologists in the room. You know what? At the end of every gig, the comic goes, Ah, oh, yeah, you've been a great audience. Thank you so much. But I can certifiably say to you guys, you've been the worst. But having said that, nothing's too appalling for the worst showman in town. Any idiot can stand up here with a microphone stand and get a crack out of an audience, but apparently not me. Now, this guy over here, he's a comic genius. Yeah. I thought I saw him on SNL once. The show went downhill when you left. Absolute shit show over there now, you know. It's like Chase Chevy, Chevy Chase, sorry. John Belushi and some random asshole audience member holding that show together. You find that funny? Yeah. 
wow, I guess I'm hysterical. You know, I always thought so. I always thought I'd entertain people. It's in my genes, you know. My father played this, this gig when he was starting out. You know, some say his spirit still haunts these very halls. <laughs> of course, whoever says that's an idiot. Of course, we still get idiots in here, as we well know. It's been scientifically proven that the only thing my father haunts is my nightmares. It's a bit of family wisdom for you. Shut the fuck up. No one's interested in what you have to say. My dad would say to me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So anyone been to these comedy things before? Yeah, can't quite imagine it's been anything like this. It may surprise you to know that I've never shouted at an audience before. It's generally a bad idea to piss the audience you're meant to be entertaining off, but given present company, we can make an exception. <laughs> Thank you, not you, for everything. You guys have been fucking awful. So have I. Good night.